All right, we're here at Ludington Beach State Park in Michigan, and we are headed to photograph the lighthouse. We're just here in time for sunset. We're going to hurry. We got to go. But uh, we got to go, and uh, it's a couple mile walk, or instead we brought. So let's do this. Here we go. All right. Welcome to Out of Chicago Photography. I'm Chris Smith, and this is the show where we help you get the most out of your photography passion. Join us every week for a brand new adventure. We take you to amazing photo locations and introduce you to some of the world's most exciting photographers. Along the way, you'll get photography tips, tricks, and techniques. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. But today, Melinda and I are trying to get to the lighthouse before the sun goes down and we lose our light. So let's get going. Well, we are about an hour too late, but uh, the sun is beautiful right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. So uh, we're going to try and get as many shots in as we can and uh, make this happen. Yeah. All right, let's go. We've got this grass leading up to the lighthouse here, and I'm trying to include the grass in my shot. My shot is going for a vertical. And I'm trying to make sure that I include this foreground grass and I'm trying to give a leading line, the line that you would actually literally walk through the sand to get to the lighthouse. I'm gonna try a few different compositions, see what we can come up with. And Melinda is gonna help me. So we're looking for that leading line, but we also need a foreground, middle ground, and a background. So be looking for that when you're in this situation. In our case, this foreground is the grass, here it's the fence, the middle ground is a lighthouse, and the background is just that amazing sky. No. Alright, so this is crazy. We're mesmerized by the drone footage and we don't even have time to go shoot for real. Sun is just set down it's below amazing. the water. It's amazing here. You can see the, well, maybe you can't. Maybe our exposure will adjust. Oh yeah, you can see the gorgeous sky, the lake. I wish we could just stop time. The sun has just gone down. And there's the big Sobble lighthouse. So. Screw you guys, we're going to get some pictures. <laughs> Let's go. guys but well we did leave for a little while we got some great shots and we're working on some more as you can see the Sun has been down now for about 30 minutes and we're working on getting some shots here <laughs> All right, say things, Melinda. Hey, everybody, we just finished up shooting. We had amazing light. This lighthouse was gorgeous. And we're going to keep shooting, but uh, I think that's the end of the video. Hope you got some good tips along the way. Uh, big Sobble Lighthouse, an amazing place to photograph. It was awesome. High five. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And we kept shooting for another hour, two hours after the sun had gone down. The light was amazing. We were on tripods, we had to shoot some long exposures, but as you can see, the light was still awesome. So it turned out we didn't need to race the sun to get there. Our best photos were taken after the sun had gone down. So thank you very much for joining Melinda and I on our adventure to Big Sobble Point Lighthouse. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and you can keep up with every one of our adventures. We post a new one every Thursday right here on the Out of Chicago YouTube channel. So please subscribe, hit the bell, and we will see you next week. <laughs>